dear students we are going to take up a practical questions that how we prepare the financial statements now the question i read here we got the revenue we got the cost of goods sold we got marketing expense we got the financial expense we have other income we have share capital we have loan we have retained earnings and we have land cost building cost these are the details of basically it's a trial balance furniture fittings administrative expense accumulated depreciation and then inventory trade receivable defer tax all details are there and see the trial balance is there and i'm sure in your earlier courses you have studied these how to come up with the trial balance in fact if you look into the accounting cycle we need start from the journal entries then ledger and balancing the ledger we prepare the trial balance so in fact in a limited companies also now this trial balance is ready now after this trial balance we have some adjustments now these adjustments are basically items which needs to be taken care before we go to prepare the financial statement because they are afterwards for example you are using the light today as 31st december let's say the bill is not there bill will come after 15 days so it doesn't mean that you can wait till 15 days and then prepare the accounts no you can estimate that how much units you have consumed what is going to be approximate amount of bill so we can record those so adjustments are there and there are no single way that i can give you all the details of adjustment any of the question which we are talking about today there are few adjustments but that is not enough in fact there are number of adjustments accrual adjustment prepaid exemption all that depreciation mainly main thing depreciation how to calculate depreciation what amount depreciation should be charged so all these adjustments are there so let me just read out these adjustment and explain you exactly how it will be taken into the accounts the company sold one of the products on 1st july 19 10 million the company has agreed to provide after sale service now this is not the total sales one of the customer uh, for a period of 4 years till june 30th 2023 yani 4 years without any extra charge and you are selling goods and giving a service charge services providing to and you charge for those services extra like is it but the estimated cost of servicing is 300000 per annum 10 million sales you make and your service charges are 300000 per annum and for 4 years so it comes to 1.2 1.2 million which is included in the sale price the company charged 25% gross profit margin on services now this is uh, again something to need explanation you know there is a markup and there is a margin markup is when we are adding to cost for example if you got, if if a goods cost you 100 and you add 25% so we may say our markup is 25% but margin is on the sales if you are making a sales and we have want to earn profit of 20% so it means our cost is 80 so this thing you are i'm sure in uh, your basic course you have understand this markup and margin thing now the accountant uh, is uh, accountant of the company is confused as to accounting accounting treatment of this transaction he has recorded 10 million as a suspense account now look here he is not aware be how these service charges which we are going to serve which we are going to pay serve the uh, company in four, for four years how this could be recorded so what we do we can do the adjustments the later on i will show you how this will be adjusted similarly loans note loan notes were issued on july 1st 2019 and issue cost amounting to 1 million have been charged to administrative expense now you are not supposed to charge to administrative expense you know when we are issuing notes and you are not getting the whole amount you are incurring expense 
so the, that expense should be reduced from your notes because the cash you received is different and expense is different now land has been revalued again it depends ke land has been revalued and many assets we do revaluation technically technically the land is also very important thing he says independent valuer at uh, land 12 million the resultant gain is not to be recorded in the above trial balance because it is just done the revaluation is done at the end of the year so we need to incorporate it because the assets value at that particular point of time so if the management decided to revalue the assets then the revaluation is done through a proper person professional only professional yeah. do you remember anybody can not do it for example if you want to get the valuation of uh, machinery you have to go the person who manufacture those machines similarly land land value or professionals are different now depreciation very careful here depreciation is 2% on building it means building life is 50 years 15% of plant and machinery 10% furniture and fixtures however the depreciation for the year has not been recorded in the trial balance the company charge entire depreciation expense to cost of sales so these three assets are going to be depreciated but do remember again it is a straight line method if it is not mentioned which method so it is straight line method otherwise we will study later on there are different methods of charging depreciation so here simple whatever is the amount of building cost take 2% and similarly 15% or machinery and 10% of furniture then current taxation provided at the rate of 35% of taxable profit now unless you know the taxable profit only then you can take 30% the tax advisor of the company has calculated current year's taxable profit so he has given you the figure that this this is going to be your taxable profit so you charge 35% of that and make a provision similarly the temporary differences are increased by 10 million now this is a again a standard that uh, if there are temporary differences like uh, the percentage you charge and the depreciation allowed by the government by the tax laws so if there is a difference uh, uh, we call it temporary difference if there are temporary differences on that difference we work out the different tax account and one thing which is important about depo tax it is not going to be paid there and then it is going to be adjusted in future now requirement is simple we need to prepare all those three statements we are not preparing the cash flow statement in this particular question because cash flow statement is another topic we will discuss later right now income statement and uh, change in equity statement and statement of financial position of the three statements we are going to produce out of these questions one by one thank you very much